Hello Python programmers. So this is the video 15th of a machine learning with Python video series. And in this video, we are gonna discuss about bias and variance. So till now we have covered all the topics of data preprocessing and we have also covered some of our linear regression models like simple, multiple and polynomial linear regression. But to work on more complex models like random forest, SVM, lasso and ridge, etc. You need some concepts or some terminologies to be clear in your mind. Like what is bias, what is variance, correlation, overfitting, underfitting, etc. etc. So I cannot push everything in one video. So what I'm gonna do is I'll create separate video for some of the important topics and in this video we are gonna cover bias and variance so let's come up with some simple explanation then we'll discuss in detail that what is high bias what is high variance and etc etc okay so bias simply say that how close our value is to the predicted value now when we get a data set we split our data set into test and train. The train data is provided to our model and then our model learns from that data. So bias is simply the closeness of our actual value and our predicted value. Okay, now let's see what variance is. Now after the model is trained, how good the model performs with the testing data. Now let me explain this again from the starting. The data is split into test and train. The train data is provided to the model. Now all the experiments, all the learning of our model is done with the train data only. Our model is unaware of the values stored in our test data. So how good the model performs with the test data is what variance represents. Now let's discuss what high bias and high variance is. Okay, so high bias means that you use a method or a model which is very simple and it is not giving a very accurate result. Like in our previous videos, we have seen some of our very simple models like simple linear regression, multiple linear regression, polynomial regression. Now the data set that I have used in those videos were, were not that scattered. They were following a linear pattern or a polynomial pattern only. Now sometimes what happens is the data set is somewhat scattered. And if we use a very simple model, so what happens is it will tend to satisfy some of the uh, actually majority of the points but will skip some scattered points so it will create inaccuracy for a model and we don't want that okay now let's come to high variance now let's say that you performed very well with your model your accuracy is like 99.99% but what will happen this model won't be that accurate with your testing data because you have tried so much hard to satisfy all the points on your training data that your model is like a zigzag line or following everywhere where your data points is located for your training set and this is not the case for your testing set because test data is completely different it's located somewhere else and this will create a huge difference between the accuracy of your training data and your testing data. So this is what high bias and high variance is. Let me sum this up. High bias means that you are using a very simple uh, model and you are not able to get accurate result for all of your data sets. Now what variance is? You try so hard for your training model that your model is very very much in favor for your training data only and is not following what your test data is so it won't give a accurate result at all so 
I have a question for you. What is the ideal behavior of a model? If someone asks you in terms of bias and variance, how a model should be? Will it be high bias, low variance or low bias, high variance or high bias, high variance or low bias, low variance? What is the criteria for a good machine learning model is? I want the answer in the comment section. After 24 hours, I will pin a comment with the correct answer. Okay, so this is it for this video. This was a short introduction of what bias and variance is. We'll see more clearly these topics when we actually work on these complex machine learning models. And I'll create some more videos on these simple terminologies so you can understand this because this is very important to understand okay so this is it for this video and i'll meet you in my next lecture bye bye